morning people welcome to my channel touch of c natural today i'm going to be showing you how i make hyperpigmentation toner if you love what you see kindly hit the subscribe button so you'll be the first to know when we post new videos now the hyperpigmentation toner is a toner that clears all form of scars from acne dark spots liver spots and things like that this is a very powerful toner that is great for sensitive skin and all types of skin first i'm going in with distilled water in which we all know that distilled water is the purest form of water you can use for your skin care it is free from impurities and minerals next i'm going in with alcohol free witch hazel witch hazel this particular one is very good for sensitive skin it is free from alcohol it is a strong astringent the antioxidant in this witch hazel is 20 times stronger than the ones you find in vitamin c and 50 times stronger than the ones you find in vitamin e yes this is a very powerful product that is going to clear your skin the witch hazel also helps to stabilize collagen on your skin next i'm going in with rose water rose water is therapeutic and then for this formula i'm using rose water especially because of the fragrance i didn't want to use any form of essential oil so i chose rose water to customize my formula the rose water also have cleansing properties and is good for all skin types it helps you to regenerate your skin and is very very good for dry and mature skin of course up next i'll be using alpha abutin alpha abutin is a very good is a very good ingredient that helps to lighten your skin a little bit it's a natural lightener it's not a bleaching agent what it does is to fade away those dark spots that you're trying to clear those dark spots that you get from hyperpigmentation it gives you an even skin tone and then a slightly lighter skin it is not a bleaching ingredient once again so it helps to minimize the appearance of liver spots and then up next i went in with tetra sodium edta this is a chelating agent it helps to stop your product from getting spoiled and from the metal ions being deposited into your skin the next thing i'm using here is msm msm is the full name is methyl so sulfony methane yes i'm just going to write this so that you see the now the msm supports collagen production it gives a smoother skin and then it also helps your active ingredient to penetrate faster and get absorbed up next i'm using vitamin c vitamin c improves the appearance of age spots and it's great for hyperpigmentation vitamin c as we all know is an antioxidant so it is very very good for your skin and then for this formula and then the next thing for humectant i'm using vegetable glycerin this is the humectant i chose because it is very easy to find it is affordable it is something you can easily recreate for yourself so what the vegetable glycerin does is that it just moisture to your skin and then leaves your skin feeling hydrated now the percentage you use in your vegetable glycerin is very very important so that your product is not going to be extraordinarily sticky so i use the vegetable glycerin for this and then for preservative i went in with liquid jama plus liquid jama plus is a broad spectrum preservative that helps to stop your product from going bad all water-based formulas need a broad spectrum preservative because molds and bacteria find it easy to replicate in water-based production water-based formulas so that is why i'm using liquid jama plus liquid jama plus is very very broad and it's very very good for your water-based formulation which is what i did so now those are the ingredients i used all i did was to allow the powders to get melted properly allow them to dissolve in water which is what i did here and finally we have finally we have our hyperpigmentation toner which is very good for the skin 
all you need to do is to spray this on a clean face either after washing your face or after cleansing your face you can follow with your serum or you can just use it like that thanks for watching